Next, we'll take a deeper look at how to position your offer so buyers won't just understand it, but happily accept it. If your clients don't understand your offer or don't see the value in your offer, um, they will simply disappear after receiving it. Just like week, a client of mine made a huge offer against you know, my recommendation. Um, it would bring 125K into the company and the offer was to help the business expand and practically build an empire from it. But that was too much. You know, the, the offer was way too complex. The client disappeared because they didn't see and understand the vision in that offer. If you want your offer to be accepted, it needs to be exactly right, not too complex, not too simple, and just clear enough for the client to sell, hell yeah. Now you can try to you know, improve your offer and miss out on great opportunities along the way while making mistakes, or you can follow these steps that you know, help my clients improve their conversion rates and lower the ghosting rates. Step one, you need to know your customers. Specifically, you need to know your customers' um, wishes so you can address them in the offer if you want your clients to say to say yes um, to your offers you need to know how to pitch them what do they want to achieve that's your main promise with your offer your value proposition for the offer if you will next you need to understand how your clients evaluate the offers what's important for them when buying this kind of a product what are they looking for in a product for example, when the evaluation cr criteria when buying a car might be, you know, speed, horsepower, safety, reliability. You need to know what's the criteria in your case. Now, don't forget to add personal ambition to that when selling B2B enterprise software. You know, what's this person's personal ambition and how can I satisfy it? For example, if you're selling a CRM software, um, and you're talking to the head of sales, the personal evaluation criteria might be, um, you know, how can I control the sales team? You know, because the person has to report to their boss and um, he needs to know who is providing the most value to him, who on his team is a good seller and who isn't during the call or when reading the offer, they will look for the clues whether, you know, your software will help them do that. Now, as a first step, we map the whole decision-making unit. Who is in the room when making the uh, decision on your offer? Who will, uh, who will they consult? Uh, risk, legal, finance are surely to be involved and they will have different criteria on how they evaluate the software. Different things will be important for them. So um, add that to the needs you have already mapped out. When you have all that, you put that in your offer, you structured it into a presentation, your value proposition on, you know, on the top, um, that's what we're helping you achieve. And then the plan of, you know, how we are achieving it and how we are satisfying all your needs. Obviously adding the differentiation, what makes you special, why they should choose you over the competitor, testimonials, case studies, past results as proof that you can actually deliver. Now, once you're done, start sending it out to the clients um, that approach you and you'll see a spike in conversions. Most companies that I see send out way too much information, especially when, you know, when you're selling a highly complex tech product, um, you know, the founders who are experts in their fields, they try to explain everything that the product can do, which confuses the person reading it because they didn't want that. Your clients don't care about your product. They just need a solution for their problem by addressing their needs, showing them how you're different from your competition. You're giving them all the information they need at this point. Anything more than that is likely to just confuse them and they'll ghost you.